100 dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is the 21st episode in our series, NerdDice.com, where we build a tabletop role-playing application, man management application using Ruby on Rails 7. And we've been working through, um, in this particular epic of work, setting up Devise to work with our application to handle user authentication. Uh, and we've been going through, we uh, configured it, we got it to work with both Tailwind and Turbo, which is the uh, default framework for Rails 7, replacing um, Turbo Links in previous versions of Rails. Um, and um, we've gone and done that. Uh, we've just interacted with, uh, with a, a pull request submitted from a user um, used to kind of improve that um, Tailwind setup. Um, and fix a um, security concern. Uh, and now we're um, working through um, writing browser tests for the various areas of functionality that we're, uh, we're using here with Devise. And um, as I think I've noted in the, the intro video, uh, browser tests are much, much slower than uh, your, your normal Rails unit tests and controller tests and stuff like that. But the benefit is that they, they use your whole front end using um, a browser. So things like your JavaScript interactions, which, uh, which Turbo uses, um, you'll be able to test um, in this kind of as if you were the user going in and clicking all those buttons. That's kind of what those system tests are for. So it's probably not the best choice for like test-driven development because it's so slow, but uh, what you want to do is any manual testing that you're doing in your app, you want to kind of, and as we've been showing here, codify that by um, you do your test steps and then you um, add them in as a system test case so that in the event that either an upgrade or a, uh, a change you make somewhere in the el else in the application uh, breaks your, um, your application interactions, um, that test case will start failing. Um, and again, because it's slower and it's um, not um, a, a, as rapid to iterate on or anything like that, uh, it's not the best choice for every single feature in your whole application. It's only kind of for that, that mission critical stuff and uh, users being able to sign up for your website, log in, reset passwords, all that stuff is uh, mission critical if you, if you don't have a uh, working sign up and sign in and all that stuff, then you don't have working software and your application um, doesn't provide any value um, or any value that you had intended for logged in users to have. So uh, I've got a duplication, I think, of the uh, of this particular uh, subtask. It was further down and I've, I've moved it up so that they're close closer to each other. So um, I guess we'll... Um, this one's more specific, so we'll just delete this one. And then in our subtasks on our GitHub issue that we've been working on, this is going to move up and replace this here. So now we're nine out of 15. Um, we had mistakenly um, had those uh, items there that weren't really necessary. So um, we're going to now start working on this uh, logged in user can change password with the form. Let me This bigger launch our server here, and we would need to log in.
is it the members area back to welcome page so the first thing that we need to do is provide a way to get here other than I can go into um, we do uh, edit user password path I believe is what we're looking for look at our yep change your password so um, we need to in the authenticated view of this add a link that lets you change your password so this would be users passwords password singular I'm already signed in signed in users edit yeah so edit user that's change your password is what we did in the previous um, item so this is actually devise sessions no. confirmations Users edit. Let's find this in our markup. Edit. It's going to be a resource. Registrations edit is the the place where this is. So user straight registration path is the, the helper we're getting there. And we should, this is the happy path now that we're showing here. So let's say that we want So this is the, the happy path here. And when I click update, your account has been updated successfully. So that's what we're testing. And then if you go back here, we'll say, need to add to our views here actually we'll 
we'll we'll fail this first, and then we'll um, we'll write the the code to make it pass. So I'll go in and create our new device test. And even though we've got, so the, um, because this is registrations edit, we'll, we'll put these both in the same test case, um, even though we'll, we'll, we'll only deal with the password part of it on this uh, particular video. So new file. Change email password test.rb. And we'll use one of these as a um, template. I'll just clear everything out, pause everything, and um, we'll talk through the, uh, the different test cases, and then I'll start implementing them. All right, so we've got the basic structure of our test here. Let's make sure I don't have any um, syntax errors or anything yet. So we'll do should have no assertions, five skips, which we do. All right, so we're going to start with our our player user and um, in all these cases these will be from within a a logged in context here so let's make sure I've got a login with user that'll be in our setup and then I'll um, pause and type my first uh, iteration of implementing this and then we'll take a look and see whether it works or not. All right so let's take a look at what I've done on this first iteration here. So uh, we're going to start in the uh, the welcome page here after we log in. So the in as part of the setup we're setting the user uh, we are logging in with that user um, and which will take us to the uh, to the welcome page the root path um, but in the logged in context uh, we will click on uh, manage your account which does not yet exist and will cause this to um, to fail uh, then um, I guess we'll, we'll we'll go that far and then um, well I guess we'll, we'll just talk through the method and then we'll, we'll let it fail and fix it so after that you would go on um, I'll force browse there for now. So this will become our, um, once I get the test passing, this will be all the um, user registration um, edit uh, assertions or whatever for, for that page. Uh, and then we, once we do that, we'll fill in, uh, we're, we're asserting as part of this, that the uh, the user email gets pre-filled with the um, the current user's email, uh, and then we'll fill in password with our new password here. Shout out to Grast, um, and then our um, other one with the new password, and then we're uh, our current password we're getting from that fixture user passwords method that we used for the login test. Um, so we go to test helper we've got this um, constant uh, hash here where any of these get um, added and let me go in while I'm thinking of it and check to make sure that I've got a comment here I don't so I'll, I'll add a comment here just noting that um,
comment there for the fixtures just to remember that. Uh, but anyway, we'll be taking that, which is uh, our player is going to be other 2468 password is what we're getting there. Um, and that's what we'll fill in the current password with. And then we'll click update. And then uh, we should go back to the welcome page with the um, your account has been updated successfully and those welcome page logged in assertions. So let's fail this test. Uh, it's going to say that it, it's looking for a, uh, I've got it saved. It's looking for a, um, a link to click on um, and it's not there. So that's what's going to happen. I expect, assuming I don't have a syntax error or something. Element not found, unable to find link or button, manage your account. So let's go in to our, um, view here. So this is the welcome index and our, it's going to be here and it's going to be a visit to edit user, uh, edit user registration path, I believe. user registration path. So put that there and this will be, need to match up the text to our test here. Count. We'll also add this to the authenticated index. And we should now, if we go to our main item here, link is working. So I should expect that this test will now pass. unless I did the selector for the email incorrectly. Uh, okay, so I didn't do the, the value correctly here. Uh, value. I will pause and look up the syntax for that real quick. All right, so I think I've got what I need here. So this Stack Overflow article refers us to Capybara. Make sure it's, yeah, this is master. So uh, field, I think I can do with, so that's, I think if I change value to width, that might solve for it. Should be one of the above. Exact text. So maybe try 
try that. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, so the solution may have been staring right at me in the face there, so um, we'll try input with the um, the value there equal to the user email. So and I might have to switch the single and double quotes on this, but We'll give it a shot. We made it further, so I think line 27 is our failure now. Insert text update. Which is there, but might not be considered text here. to our back to our failure in current cancel my account I guess we'll do um, a look at our DOM here. Oh, I just lost my tab. So, inspect here. This is. It's got a value, but not text, so. Back to our Rails guide here. So would be input with type submit. To our DOM type equals submit value equals update. Right. 
see if that solves our issue. By the delay, it's Seven again. Maybe I just get rid of the space potentially. or I've got the click on update there. Maybe I just leave it alone because it needs to be there. All right, unable to find field password confirmation. Label is password confirmation. Maybe I just fat fingered it. Oh, capital C. See the same thing for current password is going to fail too. All right, try it again. All right, so we've got that working. Now let's, um, let's add this manage your account to our test helper welcome page assertions. Same thing with no text here. And I guess we've got the authenticated assertions might be we don't super care about it. So that should we'll run their whole suite of tests there. Since other tests reference that. Right, and then back to this one. So this actually isn't an error situation. I um, tested while I was paused. Uh, so this is does not error. So we've got kind of 
this is our standard setup here. And then um, yeah, so this will be our standard setup and then um, we'll allow for variations in the things that we fill out so that um, so that you've got differences here. So similar to, we'll even call it the same naming pattern here. It was on reset password. this standard registrations edit preconditions All of this up until clicking update will be the same. And then if we do any variations similar to the other ones, we'll just fill in the fields again after they're filled in. shortens that particular method by a lot. All right, so we're back. That was still gave us what we wanted. Uh, this one will be the easiest one because it, it's going to be the same um, thing, except that the we're going to fill in everything with current password. Which probably, I wonder if it's gonna change the hashed password if I do this. We'll find out. Um, what is the, User dot encrypted password. I might not have that assertion correct, but we'll find out. I should have just done the one test. Pause and I think there might be no difference. So 
insert no changes. to assert equal. Expected is previous password. Actual is user.reload. Just isolate to this test case or this test class. Okay, so it does change the hashed password. So, um, figured that would be the case because it's making an update with the date and time. So, updating but updating it to the same value and that's fine all right so now I think it's probably enough for this video we'll deal with the unhappy path in the next video. Actually, we're close. Let's see if we can knock these out. I may regret this later. Uh, we're going to fill in Short, short, let's make it more role playing. There we go. All right, and then we're going to click on update, and then we're going to assert. This will be very similar to our. User sign up. So that should be our Second one will be use it. Password confirmation doesn't match password. some blood war action here going on the mis mismatch passwords and then the old password current password 
password. We need to click on update here. What's our error message there? So current password is invalid. All right, run our class, see if I manage to execute this error free. Nope. Been up because I didn't update it incorrectly. Current password with new password. One more time. All right, we are passing. I will run RuboCop. Two defense offenses, one auto correctable. All right, so this is just I think that'll get me down to where I need to be from RuboCop. And it does rerun all of our tests. Broke something here. Maybe I put it in the wrong order. Yep, put it in the wrong order. All right. Just run this class. Back to green. Just for the sake of completeness, we'll run this. As I noted at the beginning of this video, uh, application system test cases are much slower than um, th than your unit tests. So. Um, this is not something um, you want to be running 
several times, but everything's passing. RuboCop is happy. Our... Make sure everything we want to save is saved. It is. Uh, added the manager account to both of the views. Added assertions about it. And then added the comment to the user's fixture. And then added our new class. So that works. We'll write our commit message. All right, I've got my commit message here. Close it. Got our commit. Push the remote. She'll kick off our build. While our build is building, we will go in and edit our subtask. there. Move our subtask to complete on our board. See where our build is. We'll pause and let it finish. All right, so our build has successfully completed. Go back to our code here on our branch and our commit has passed all of our checks so we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf